the infection Japanese people had begun to forget has been regaining force after 44 years. A very irregular situation is occurring in Japan, and there aren't so many people noticing the fact. According to the Thetis, Japanese National Institute of Infectious Disease announced last year, the newly infected patients of syphilis exceeded 5,000 a year. Syphilis is one of the three sexual transmitted diseases of the triple elimination by WHO, infected from mother to infant. There is certainly an increase of infected patients in other developed countries recently. But in Japan, for example, the numbers of 20 to 24 year old heterosexual females who are infected with syphilis via sexual intercourse is rapidly increasing. The patients reported per 100,000 has been 9.0, increased by approximately 13 times in four years. This rapid change cannot be seen in other developed countries. I was an executive committee member of the International HIV AIDS Symposium in 2015. At that time, I learned a threat of infection could happen anywhere. And now, the danger is creeping upon Japan. I visited the Ministry of Health to know the reality of the STD problems and national measures. Through the meeting with the infection department, it was obvious that Japanese women and infants are on the verge of the crisis of STD. Yet, the number isn't that big. The baby of inborn syphilis is already born from the mother who is infected with syphilis. Babies' report of inborn syphilis is increasing simultaneously with infections spreading over young ladies. An urgent measure to young women is required, but the Japanese are rather close-minded about sexual issues. The necessary sexual health information is hardly given or shared to children neither at school nor at home. Stigma discrimination against STD is also a thick wall to break through. The Ministry of Health is making an effort toward enlightenment of a check at health center and medical agency, using posters to reform thoughts. But unfortunately, the expected results haven't been achieved. I was working on an activity to protect the life of the mothers in developing countries from absolute poverty from high school. Now, I believe that it is also the time to do something to protect the Japanese future mothers and babies from the threat of the STD. Leading young people to be conscious about their reproductive health and making a community where they can acquire the appropriate knowledge of STD are the keys to break through the hardship that Japan is facing. I started an enlightenment activity to the youth for giving information about STD, which threatens upon expecting mothers and babies. I've held a screening party of the documentary movie, which features female human rights. I've also talked about the current state of the STD in Japan to the young people and their parents. So, you are a high school student and you are a university student. And what do you think about the STDs? I didn't know the fact that people don't like me to notice even though they're infected. So I felt a little scared. And I would like to share and spread about it to many people so that they can prevent the sexual transmitted disease. Um, what do you think about it? I'm now a high school student. At school, I haven't learned about STDs. I strongly feel I must convey this crisis for young people. As a person of the same young generation and much familiar to them, I will share and spread the right information in person. When one comes to have a checkup and work on everyday prevention independently, the infection from mothers to infants can be stopped. Only their awareness and reform of behavior can avoid a tragic pandemic. Awareness rising is what should be achieved by beauty with a purpose. To protect women and the next life which connects to the future. Miss World Japan will stay active.